guys, this is Alyssa. I'm part of Team Atlas, and today I am here to show you one of my favorite things that I use every day, and it's a plotter. Definitely changed my life in this last year of using it. So I first heard about plotter um, around this time last year, actually, not too long after I started. You're hearing that it was going to be something new that was coming in, and that part of the team would be actually coming in to have a little presentation, talk about it, and even like do personal customizing for it as well, because they were gonna be at the Penn Show, which was, I think, that same weekend. And so at first I heard about that, I was like, what is this? Like, it doesn't make any sense. And then I came in and I was overhearing the um, presentation and I was like mind blown, like, oh my God, like I can use this. Cause like, I know my problem with notebooks sometimes is like, if I start one, and then I want to like kind of change how I use it, but then I can't shift around pages. So that's so why I was like really into like the whole rings that they have on Plotter. And that the fact like all the memo pads, you can tear off pages as much as you want and then you can like move them later on. So how I mostly like started my first Plotter, which is this Bible size that I got from the Chicago Pen Show. Last year, um, I usually just start putting a bunch of different paper types. Like I have the ruled, the grid, and I think the to-do list here. So I kind of just keep them in the back at first. Um, and when I, I need to like write notes, I'll take them here and then I'll move them into the project manager folders that I kind of set up. Um, like I have a work one where you can see I took notes on different nib types. I have meeting notes and whatnot. Um, here's some of my favorite books and comics I like to read. Um, other stuff is like wish list, to-do list, um, budgeting stuff. So I keep that all in these little different folders and I've like decorated with them with stickers. Um, my other favorite thing that I've come to do with my plotter too is um, putting in postcards. I remember seeing, I think on the plotter website being like, oh yeah, because it's like all standard sizes. You can put in like different refills. And so I got myself one of those six ring binder, adjustable, adjustable binder hole punch. And yeah, I just started going ham <laughs> and putting little like postcards in there. For my first plotter, I went with the Bible size because it's like pretty portable. You can carry it easily and I can put it in my bag. And it, you know, it was like the perfect Goldilocks size, I guess, compared to the other two. So I think that that was a really great choice. Um, I find that this fits in like a lot of the bags I have, like my Delphonics pouch or like a small backpack. My second plotter, I actually ended up getting an A5. So last year I applied to grad school and then I had to go think like, I want I love taking physical notes. I don't really like doing too much digital. So then I was like, you know, maybe I want a calendar, but also I want to take notes, but I'm in two classes. And do I want more than one notebook? And then I was like, wait, I can get an A5 plotter. So that is exactly what I did. I recently decided to pick up a mini plotter. So I set it up similarly to the Bible size. I have the lifters in front, followed by the project managers, and then the paper in the back to write in. If I'm going out but don't want to bring too much with me, this is like the perfect size. I know some people also like the mini size for maybe like quick note taking, grocery lists. So it has a lot of uses, even though it's like super small. And um, for the pen I have in it, I have the Uniball one. So like pocket pens are like perfect for this size too. So I like all the different rulings for plotter, but I think one of my favorite ones has been the two millimeter grid just because of like, it's super kind of tiny and it's kind of like almost fades into the background, almost like the dot grid, which I think is really cool. After writing notes, I think the project manager has to be like one of my favorite features for the plotter, just being able to kind of classify notes into different sections and then not having to like flip through every single page just to get to where you want to go. After that, the ruler pad I like using as a um, pencil board, but also like a kind of a bookmarker of where I left off. 
when I was last writing in my plotter. So I feel like this has been such a useful piece to use. And then for the two lifters, I used the lifter with the band to keep it closed. And then lastly, the pen holder I also have just to keep a pen with my notebooks. I also like that it's long so that um, most of the pen is actually covered and not exposed compared to like one that's like maybe a small type of like band that can like wiggle around. Other accessories Plotter has is like this ring supporter. So normally this would fit on the rings out here. Um, there's like these little dents that have come from the pressure of the rings and this is like a little bit of a buffer so it doesn't dent the inside as much or leave like as big marks outside. But I don't know, I'm personally kind of a fan of like this use, like seeing the use of the plotter over time. So I actually didn't decide to use one of these, but I know some people may prefer to have more of that cleaner look. Plotter also has plain lifters to for like extra dividers. And also I feel like these would be good on the outside of the plotter so that when you open it up, it's not gonna be just the pages right away. Um, so for people who maybe don't want to have like their band with lifter or their um, pen holder um, at the front and wanted to keep them in the back, this is like a good other option just to have a little bit of protection on that first page. Next, which is pretty new, is the fastener case from Plotter. I have not used these one myself, but I know people who have. And I think it just like lays flat on the outsides of it before putting on the pages in there. And so for people who maybe want to carry some more little cards with them or maybe some like sticky notes, this is like a nice, I feel like this would be a pretty nice way to keep all of that in there. I might consider in the future, especially for my A5, for when I write notes, if I want to keep any like sticky notes in there. The last kind of accessory, which I think I probably will need in the future, is the refill storage just to um, help keep any like archive, any notes. And I think it's good, um, I think they, yeah, it comes with stickers as well to help like label some of the archives. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me talk about Plotter today. I love my Plotter and I know it's also a, a big staff favorite as well. I think half of us have at least one. If you decide that this is something that you would like to use or if you're just ordering anything else, we read every single order note that comes through and always love responding back with like a smiley face and just connecting more with you guys. So if you would ever want to leave a note for Steph, like a shout out, just a general hi, we always love seeing that. So hope to see you soon. Bye.